There's nothing better than um, seeing a kid say, you know, oh, okay, Frau, and they, they kind of have you there as like your backup. You're kind of their mom, and okay, I'm gonna ask this guy what time it is. Okay, and so they ask the guy, and you can just see it in their face. Their eyes light up, and they're so proud of themselves that you can just feel it and, and see it in the student. Like, did I say it right? Did I get it? And when the person responds back in German, they don't switch to English. You know, they look at you and they give you a high five, like, yeah, Frau, I did it, I did it. So I don't know if there's one um, example, but just that even the simplest things like asking for a train ticket and I understood what he said and you can just see it in their emotions on their face. It's so cool. I felt a lot more like I felt well-rounded and that might sound like kind of cliche or something but just knowing that uh, like I had these really cool experiences and I saw different cultures like I was more um, in touch with what was going on around me and how people were different and everything and it was really cool. It was a life-changing experience. It was amazing. We went to Mexico on a bus and we traveled around and saw the different sites in Mexico. It was a fantastic experience where you see the things that you've read about and studied about in the textbooks. And so that, for me, affected lots of the choices that I made in my life. And here I am, a Spanish teacher today. Traveling abroad as a high school student is important for a variety of reasons. Um, the first reason is it gives you an opportunity to see the world around you. And at that point, you learn about what happens in the world around you, as well as, more importantly, maybe even about yourself. I did travel abroad as a high school student. I participated in the Know Your Neighbor study tour um, as a junior in high school and um, it was a wonderful experience and from that experience I discovered my passion for the French language and culture. At first all of it I was kind of nervous because I didn't know who I would be seeing. I mean I knew them from just like Facebook because that's how we kept in contact but I wasn't sure if I was going to do some like freaks or if I wouldn't get along with them. But it turned out really great. It's like they pick you perfectly because everyone, everything that they did was things that you liked and they took you places that you wanted to go. And for a language learner, the best thing is, so we come into class and we learn German and that's great, but the application is, is unreal. So for language classes, going abroad is like, it's the cream of the crop. You get to actually use what I've been teaching you and you get to find out that I'm not crazy, that all those things that you learn here in my classroom really apply and you can use. Um, so it's great in that aspect of making the language in the classroom real. I initially wanted to go to Germany because I heard the only way to really learn a language was to be immersed in it and so you just had to, you just had to go to really get a good handle on it. Their, their child is going to come back a different person, and I always tell them that right up front. They're going to be different. Uh, hopefully they're going to mature and see some other things um, and maybe appreciate you a little bit more than when they were here. Um, and just the, the, the mind opening or the experiences of, of perspectives and um, really experiencing what a whole different country is like is something that you can't, doesn't have a price tag. And so I tell them that um, I don't know how each child is different, how they travel abroad and the experiences they have and the people they meet, but they will come back a different person. And I've yet to meet someone that's gone abroad and hasn't gotten the travel bug and been like, okay, in three months I'm going to go back and then I'm going to stay there. And everybody, in fact, on the plane ride home, when we went to Germany, everybody came back and on their sheets they filled out, bro, I'm going to go back and I'm going to study abroad and, and I'm going to take my kids to Germany and, and I'm going to take a trip to my honeymoon and I'm going to go to Europe. I mean, it had impacted them so much that that was their plan. I don't know if it happened, but nobody came back going, oh, that was fun. I guess I'm not going to go again. Everybody had plans to go back. I would say that my the family was my favorite part about the stay. Um, a lot of how they ran their household and how each of them, like, how each of them acted was very similar to my own family. Every time I go, it is just amazing to me to see the students experience the same thing that I experienced as a student. And by that I mean, um, you see a change come over them as they become citizens more of the world and the experiences that they have on this trip um, affect them and change their perspective about life oftentimes. It's not important to me if it's their first trip or if it's their only trip. What's important to me is that they have an opportunity to live with a family, to learn language and culture, and hopefully build relationships that will afford them opportunities in the future, maybe a semester abroad, maybe a year abroad, but definitely to have that relationship for a long time in the future.
I might continue the the saying that the only way to learn a language is to immerse yourself in it. I, I learned a tremendous amount while I was there, and I was really happy that I went. And you just have to get through that initial threshold of uncertainty and embarrassment and just let yourself be taught by people who speak it. I will definitely be traveling abroad someday. I hope to attend college abroad just because of the trip to France made me want to like go out of the U.S. and experience any type of cultural, ethnic thing I can experience, taste food, see the people, hear their like languages. It's just amazing.